What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Um, hope you tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. Uh, we'll be talking about everything with the Dallas Cowboys. We'll be breaking down the Cowboys versus the Bears, which seem to be a little bit in shell shock there, um, having traded Robert Quinn. I think uh, a lot of the players on the defense weren't expecting that and definitely are going to be missing him. Um, we as Cowboy fans, or we as Dallas Cowboys, I'm not sure that we can have nice things, as Rio would say. Um, I think we're beginning to see a little bit of a problem here brewing. Um on a couple of fronts. Um, first one I will say is Michael Gallup. And maybe I'm making too much of this um, right now. But this is what, what Jerry Jones said earlier today on 105 The Three The Fan about Michael Gallup. I expect to see more production. That's not in any way of drawing a line. He's important to our offense, and we've seen those outstanding 20-yard-plus plays. You bet we need to have him show up there with good stats. Um, and I'll say that a couple of things in Michael Gallup's defense. First of all, he's come back from the ACL injury earlier than what was should have been targeted. The Cowboys were the ones that sold us that he might be ready to start the season. When everybody looked and was like, what are you talking about? It's an eight-month, you know, recovery time. Eight months being in November. And so you start looking at that and saying, um, Jerry, you're kind of putting a little bit further than it should be. The second thing is, is you've had a different quarterback in there and a different offensive philosophy where it was, we're not going to risk the biscuit. And you then have Dak Prescott come back, you know, his first game from having a broken thumb. So all of those things should be mitigating factors and the fact that he is still getting his legs underneath of him. And so you kind of look at it and say, yeah, maybe that should be a pass there. But this may go back to Michael Gallup just getting a new contract. Because here's the thing. I want to revisit something back from January of last year after we lost in the playoffs. And this is when Jerry Jones was being asked about Demarcus Lawrence and Amari Cooper because of their high contract numbers and so on. And I want to read to you the response. Forgive me, I'm not the best of uh, readers out there and stuff, So, um, but just bear with me. I don't have any comment on Cooper's contract, Jones said on Friday. I thought the way we were playing early when we did make some things happen, I thought Cooper had a big part of it. And I'm not being trite, but how he fits in, he should take half the field with him when he runs roots, not half. That's an exaggeration, of course. But a whole bunch of the defense should have to honor Cooper. And he ought to be able to catch in the middle of when we're going um, with him. Others do. You throw to people that are covered all the time in the NFL. You have to. Most people don't have the numbers we have at receiver. Cooper's numbers suffered, of course, a big drop. So are we now looking at Jerry Jones kind of saying, you know, hey, I just paid you. I expect to see, you know, some big catches out of you. So you have that dynamic where Jerry's just kind of put him, Michael Gallup, on blast that I need a whole lot more out of you. And maybe I am making too much out of this. But now also, too, I think you're beginning to get the Mike McCarthy, Jerry Jones situation that's kind of going on. Because we all know Jerry Jones is is the guy who wants all the attention. He wants all the credit for everything. Everything. I mean everything, okay? He needs to be praised constantly. And the thing that's kind of interesting is Mike McCarthy seems to have, uh, and I'm not there, I can't verify. This is just my own assumption. And when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. But it just felt like, Mike McCarthy was the lap dog all off season that, you know, here it was Jerry Jones hit the dog with the rolled up newspaper on, on the snout. And he's kind of, you know, it's kind of whimpered away, you know, with the whole Sean Payton situation with the, um, 
you know, Mike McCarthy knows that he's not going to be coaching the Cowboys forever and the flirtation with Dan Quinn and Kellen Moore and all that stuff where he's literally, you know, making the dog scared of him. But when Jerry Jones said that, you know, that I'd love a quarterback controversy, it was Mike McCarthy that was like, no, there is no quarterback controversy. And from that point on, all of a sudden, you felt like the dog got got his bite back. That he got his bite back, okay? And so now, today, you have Mike McCarthy saying, you know, well, Zeke has you know, come along further than we thought he would be uh, right now. If he practices tomorrow, there's a chance he could play on Sunday. Now, that may not be the case. That may be some, you know, good old bluffing. You know, make the competition think that there's a chance that he's going to play, which means we have to prepare for him and Tony Pollard as opposed to knowing that a guy's out. That's some gamemanship. But now you have Jerry Jones kind of undercut that with almost immediately coming out and basically saying, oh, no, he's out. So is Jerry Jones, you know, because see, see, here's the thing. <laughs> and this might be the problem why we don't have success with the Cowboys. You got Mike McCarthy being a coach. He's putting people in positions to succeed. He, he's trying to rope in Kellen Moore and his play calling and stuff and, and oversee that. He understands I need to just let Dan Quinn, you know, cook over there, okay? Not ride. He's cooking. He's cooking up some, some new defenses and stuff. Let him get, you know, just tell me what you need. We're going to go out and get what you need, and, and we're doing things. And for once, now the Cowboys are seeming like, okay, We've got some good pieces here, contrary to what people think. We, we've got, you know, uh, other players that are going to be coming that are going to be helping us, that we should get stronger as the season goes on, that, that you know, we've got a favorable schedule. We've already played the worst teams, you know, on our, our schedule, the Super Bowl champions, the runners up, you know, uh, that, that we beat some of those teams with our backup quarterback. Things should be good in Dallas. But you feel like there's this undercurrent of resentment now of Jerry Jones. He's putting his receiver who he just paid, who's only been back two games, with two different quarterbacks from an ACL injury. You're putting him on blast, and you're undercutting your coach. And right now, you're 5-2. and two. You got the Bears, a game you should win, and be able to go into the bye week and get healthy. Where's the problem here? Why are we creating a problem when there isn't one? But this has me concerned because, you know, as a Cowboy fan, the Cowboys make you drink. The Cowboys will make you drink. And I hope that this isn't the beginning of I need to get Mike McCarthy because he's taking too much of the limelight. Jerry, you once said there's any number of 500 coaches that could have coached the team that I put together to the Super Bowl. Right now, it feels like you're trying all 500 of them because we ain't been back there in 25 years, a quarter century. If it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. I'm Mark Holmes, and hopefully I'll see you guys tonight. Peace.